while now talking about champions, in order to be the first African women's team to summit Mount Everest in 2020, Alda Waddle, Lisa Hearing, Deshin Daisel, and Tumi Mpatlele are training intensely for this life-changing experience. Oh, and can you imagine the training that is involved Ooh. with something as big as that? And Morsa was there to see if she could catch up or keep up with these phenomenal ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Four women from South Africa are preparing to make history by summiting Mount Everest as the first all-woman club from Africa. I'm at the West Cliff Stairs here to meet up with the ladies as they prepare. We ready? Ready. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so to me, before we start, why Mount Everest? Mount Everest was going to be an ultimate for me. I have done other summits. I have summited Mount Kilimanjaro. I have summited Mount Elbrus in Russia. I have summited Mount Aconcagua in Argentina. And so it was going to be one of the ones that I would do, but it was not going to be this soon. But I was fortunate enough to be able to join this team for 2020, which is quite fantastic. It was on the cards, but I'm very glad that it was able to be 2020 for me. That, that is fantastic. Have you always wanted to climb Mount Everest? Yes, I've always wanted to climb. My first real climb was Mount Mulanje in Malawi. After summiting Mount Mulanje in Malawi, I knew that I wanted to, to do more of those. Uh, Mount Mulanje is not very high. As you take on more mountains, as you take on higher mountains, you know, even higher mountains call. So Mount Everest was definitely one of the ones that I would have done. How intense is the training for something of this magnitude? The training is fairly intense. We have to make sure that we have endurance, we have body strength, you have to develop your upper body, you have to develop your lower body, your, your legs, your calves. But for Everest is more than just your physical strength, it's also your, men, your mental preparedness because you spend a lot of time on the mountain. It's many weeks that you spend going up different camps. That means that you, you are away from your family, but it's also extremely cold and extremely testing. So there is an aspect of mental preparedness that we also incorporate into our training and that's what the, the whole team is, is actually looking at. I climbed Kilimanjaro in 2008 and the training for Kilimanjaro and Everest is completely different. Kilimanjaro is five days up and two days down. Everest is an eight weeks expedition. Kilimanjaro is walk, 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 climbing up, Everest has got some technical. You have need harnesses, you need jabras, crampons on your feet. So you need a little bit different training for Everest. So I live in a state and I've calculated an eight kilometer route for myself. So I walk the route and I walk it at time. So my best time is 65 minutes. I hope to get that down. And then eventually you put weights on your back to make sure that you can carry the weights because it is, Everest is not just about walking. It's about being able to carry the weight with you as well. So I will start with how my weekly plan uh, will culminate because at the moment it's cardio stuff but Everest is not just about the cardio. I will eventually pick up on the, the swimming part because for me swimming I've, that's how I've prepped for Everest before for lung capacity building and then the strength training of course your whole body needs to be ready for this thing uh, you know from, from the toes to the top basically. Climbing Mount Everest is a big task. I can't imagine uh, how it was going to be if I had to take it all on my own. So as a team, we share in the glory, but we share also in the effort. So we look out for one another. I think of the time when we will be in the, the mountain for many weeks and we are, we are talking at least six weeks and, and many more. In a team like ours, there is the sisterhood there is shoulders that you can actually rely on. So teamwork for me for this kind of task is very important. Yes! Courage to start, strength to endure! That's the ladies' motto and I wish them all the best. Woo!